Hi, this is Richard Black. Today we're going to make a uh, little bit more complicated leather project. It's for my western friends, equestrian friends, hunters. Those of you that like to have a pistol on your saddle when you're riding. It can be secured to your saddle in an easy reach. As I showed you in the earlier picture, it hooks right over the horn and lays right in front of the swell or the pummel, however you want to call it. And you have easy access to your revolver, your pistol, whatever you're carrying. In today's lesson, part one of two, what we're going to do is make the pattern for this. This is a 45, and this is what the holster is going to be for. We have the parts of it is the trigger retainer. We have a leather retainer right here to hook into the back of the holster so it doesn't flop. We have a leather strap right here for hooking to your saddle and just our hole for um, going over the horn. As you see I just ran this through a slit in the leather and did a, a double sew around it for strength. So this is what we're going to make today on the pattern. On the pattern we also have the different parts. We have the leather retainer for holding the holster. We have our holster itself and then we have our back portion for that. And this is the parts we're going to make. What I'd like you to do is get yourself some cardstock, some poster board, and fold it in half. Lay it out with a fold on the top. Get your revolver, your pistol, whatever you're going to be using and lay the trigger and the sights on the fold and roll it to your left if it's going to hang on the right side of the saddle. You'll see the fold right here I'm about a half inch away to three quarters of an inch away from there so that's is this area here that gives us plenty of room and what I'd like you to do is to trace around the revolver, the pistol, however you're going to be using it Okay, so we have an outline of the revolver. From here, we're going to take us a line from the fold. And we're going to give ourselves enough room on the outside where it's, it'll be able for the fold, the forming, and our sew line. So basically what I'm going to do is take it from here, do a nice smooth line. And I'll come up to almost almost the top of the trigger guard and do a little round in. And from this, from the hammer itself, I'd like to come in right below that across the top of the revolver. So I'm going to make a nice freelance just a uh, curved line. And just come to the halfway. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, cut half on the line from where your marks are. And go ahead and cut the outside line. A smooth lock cut. And there we go. That's the top half of the holster. Take your paper and fold it over on this way. So this is on the top. Again, take your outline pen. 
and trace it onto the bottom half. Now from here, as you see, I'm going to bring this up the same as I would a normal holster where this would maybe round and go over the belt loop. Well, this is going to be tucked in here, so I just want to take it up enough room where I have there to uh, insert it into the slit. So I'm just going to follow my lines in a smooth line. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and cut this out. There it is, all cut out, hold it over. So if we were to put our revolver in there, you'll see I have plenty of room for sewing and forming. So that makes our holster part. If you don't like your lines, go back and kind of round them out, smooth them out. Anything that doesn't look like you want it to. Play with it until you feel comfortable with it. Okay, there's our holster part. Now we'll go ahead and make our our back that it's going to rest on. Go ahead and lay your holster down on your paper. And it's the same thing as we did around the revolver. We're going to give ourselves enough room on the outside to um, show the back and our, any stamping that you want to do. It just looks nice. So I'm going to let's start about here. We're going to be coming out where this is going to rest on. So basically going about in some areas three quarters of an inch on the outside again that's this is going to be the larger area up top so I'm going to open myself up nice smooth lines there. Okay, as you see here, this is the area that goes over the horn, and so basically I'm just going to make myself a nice rounded top here. There's a few variations of this you can do. Um, instead of having a loop over the horn, you could cut it here and do a lacing if you wanted to. But that's another story. Okay, I'm just going to make myself a nice round. It's basically the shape of it. Okay, what I have here is a um, piece of leather that I use from my two inch uh, hole punch. I'm going to, that's going to be too small. So what I'm going to use is a uh, canning top lid. And depends on the horn that you have. This is uh, about two and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to place it in the middle where it looks good. There. Looks like it'll do the trick. Now, 
with this in place and to where you'd like it to be, go ahead and um, we're going to leave ourselves from the top of this leather here, go um, maybe a half inch, five eighths of an inch, give yourself a line across there, put it back on your design and go ahead and mark that area. And that's where the slit is going to be that the, it's going to tuck into. Go ahead and cut yourself or draw your line. And I'll go ahead and cut this out now along with a slit. On this line I may cut myself about an eighth of an inch depending on the thickness of my leather that I'm going to be using, which will probably be 9, 10, 9 to 12 leather ounce. So that's how it slips into there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll cut this out. Nice smooth lines. Makes it easier to bevel as well as to smooth the edges out. go. Check in your lines. Make sure you have no jaggedy cuts. You can smooth it off here or smooth it off when you cut your leather. Go ahead and we'll cut our two and a half inch horn hole. Again this depends on the size of the horn on your saddle. What it has to go over. Okay, there we go. Again, this, this slits into there. We have a nice border around the outside. Now we're going to make the uh, leather retainer. So get yourself another piece of um, poster board. When I did on this, I, this is where my two inch piece of leather comes in my, that, from my hole punch. I'm just going to put that on there, on somewhere in the middle, and go ahead and trace around that. Alright, and we'll take our ruler, and we'll leave a little, maybe, that much area off the off the circle. We'll do that on both sides, even about the same amount. Okay. Now that looks pretty abrupt right here, and it's real hard to finish. So what I'm going to do is just take the line and. Just kind of smooth it out a little there. All right, let's go ahead and cut that out. Nice smooth lines.
There we go. That's the leather retainer for the holster. And that'll fit oh, about right there. I like the look of that. Go ahead and fold it around the holster. And there you go. That's the pattern for our pummel holster. That completes part one. Part two, we'll lay this on a piece of leather, we'll cut it out, we'll do our stamping, we'll color it, and then we'll finish it off with the sewing and then we'll assemble it. This is Richard Black. Thank you for watching and happy leathering and see you in part two.